has been a, sort of a developing issue all day long, and law enforcement officers have received over the weekend widespread criticism from many at the rally for what they call being hands off outnumbered in some cases and waiting too long to break up the violence that we just showed you. So WSLS 10's Jessica Jewell went to a local criminal justice expert to get some perspective on this today. She joins us now. She's live from the Roanoke Police Department. So Jessica, what did our expert have to say about all this? Well, John, they certainly were outnumbered, but that was expected. More than a thousand law enforcement officers from Charlottesville Police, Virginia State Police and the National Guard were on the street Saturday, but they faced crowds of four to six thousand protesters. Take a look at this video. This is what some people are criticizing. It shows officers standing off to the side. So we went to Radford University's Dr. Todd Burke to get some perspective on this response. He's a criminal justice professor and a former Maryland police officer. He tells us there's a fine line officers have to walk between protecting people's rights to protest and free speech while also keeping them safe. Yeah, there were a lot of outsiders and we're not just talking about outsiders outside of the county area, we're talking outside of the state. So when you get an influx like that, it puts an additional strain on law enforcement and their resources. Officers will now go through debriefings to talk about what they did well and what they could have done differently. 